Chapter 6 Children and Parents Children, it is your Christian duty to obey your parents, for this is the right thing to do. Respect your father and mother is the first commandment that has a promise added, so that all may go well with you and you may live a long time in the land. Parents, do not treat your children in such a way as to make them angry. Instead, raise them with Christian discipline and instruction. Slaves and Masters Slaves, obey your human masters with fear and trembling, and do it with a sincere heart, as though you were serving Christ. Do this not only when they are watching you, because you want to gain their approval, but with all your heart, do what God wants as slaves of Christ. Do your work as slaves cheerfully, as though you served the Lord, and not merely human beings. Remember that the Lord will reward each of us, whether slave or free, for the good work we do. Masters, Behave in the same way toward your slaves and stop using threats. Remember that you and your slaves belong to the same master in heaven who judges everyone by the same standard. The Whole Armor of God Finally, build up your strength in union with the Lord and by means of His mighty power. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. For we are not fighting against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. So put on God's armor now. Then, when the evil day comes, you will be able to resist the enemy's attacks, and after fighting to the end, you will still hold your ground. So stand ready, with truth as a belt tight around your waist, with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times, carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one, and accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God as the sword which the Spirit gives you. Do all this in prayer, asking for God's help. Pray on every occasion as the Spirit leads. For this reason, keep alert and never give up. Pray always for all God's people, and pray also for me that God will give me a message when I am ready to speak, so that I may speak boldly and make known the gospel's secret. For the sake of this gospel I am an ambassador, though now I am in prison. Pray that I may be bold in speaking about the gospel as I should. Final Greetings Tychicus, our dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord's work, will give you all the news about me, so that you may know how I am getting along. That is why I am sending him to you, to tell you how all of us are getting along and to encourage you. May God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give to all Christians peace and love with faith. May God's grace be with all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ with undying love.